Air refueling can be a complex mission, and there's plenty of things that could go wrong. So how do you prepare for a total system failure and not jeopardize the safety of the crew and the aircraft? At MacDill Air Force Base, it's as easy as taking a spin in the sim. The simulator is almost identical to the aircraft. Everything in front of the, uh, the, the pilot and co-pilot seats are, is going to be identical to the airplane. The, uh, it's a full motion simulator, so you'll get the, uh, the bank, the pitch. Overall, it's pretty realistic. The KC-135 simulator allows pilots to troubleshoot real-time emergency situations. Right, so a disconnect, got a good light there. I actually had a situation uh, here recently where we had a, a high-speed abort, and uh, being able to actually practice those procedures in the, uh, in the simulator uh, helped your uh, skills to, to basically know exactly what, what to do on the uh, procedures. And if the training benefits aren't enough, the simulator actually saves money. Headquarters publishes guidance that says it's $300 an hour to fly the flight simulator versus uh, $6,125 to fly the aircraft. Second. Well, the sim is no replacement for the real deal. All right, so I'm going to give the unit back now. It does play a vital oh, role in ensuring our pilots can gone. complete their mission safely and make it back home. You will see that uh, all the different events, all the equipment that you've lost up front. Senior Airman Laura Beckley, McGill Air Force Base, Florida. I haven't actually done that before.